Hey guys, Shubhraj here and I'm back with another video after quite a long time. So today I'm going to review this FGN NS10. I will write down the exact name of this guitar, the model number in the description below. So please check that out. You can also subscribe to the channel that that helps. And along with that, I'm also going to be reviewing the Laney Cub Super 12 combo. So both of these were sent over to me by Fotados and um, before we get uh, on with the video, I want to clear out that I am not being compensated for this review at all. Yes, Fotados has sent me these instruments and I can review them. I can make videos out of them. But all of the opinions that you hear in this video and anywhere else or see anywhere else, whatever, are all my own opinions. So they do not have any influence over what I feel about these instruments. Let's start with this guitar. Clearly, this is an LP style guitar. So um, for the longest time, I have been using an S style guitar. It was quite a bit of a change for me to just like switch to this kind of a format. So let's talk about the hardware first. So we got Goto vintage style tuners. That's what they look like. Then we got a Goto bridge, the tunomatic style bridge. We have two tone knobs and we have two volume knobs. So these two are for the neck pickup. These two are for the bridge pickup. We have a three-way switch and there is no coil tap. So it is a pure vintage um, style setup altogether. The neck is not super thick. The neck on the other one, in fact, is much thicker. And this particular guitar is chambered. So it is a little lighter to hold. So that's a great thing. As far as the setup from the factory is concerned, it comes with a set of nines. I'm guessing the Dario strings, but yeah, they come with a set of nines and the action is really good on them. I don't know if you can see it, but really low action and very comfortable guitar to play. Now let's quickly talk about the amp. I'm going to add a picture of what the amp looks like from the top so that you get an idea about the knobs that are available on it. And I will put a picture of the back as well so that you see what's behind the amp. So firstly, we have the on and off switch along with the light. Then we got our volume and reverb knobs and then we got the eq knobs bass treble and mid and that is followed by the gain knob followed by a boost switch and a boost knob so we're going to start with the bridge pickup the middle And finally, the neck. So pretty dynamic sound. Eh? Now I'm going to bring up the gain on the amp a little bit more so that you can hear how this sounds at breakup point. So here's the bridge pickup. Middle. And finally the neck. Now, let's play around with the volume knob a little bit. I'm going to go back to the bridge pickup, bring the volume knob to about 50%. Yeah, that's it there. Bring it up. Again, volume 
¿no? So here's the cool thing about these style of guitars where you can set one pickup in one way and then the other pickup in another way. So like let's say I want the neck pickup to be like a little bit more on like the jazzier side. So what I could do is, so I'll just bring down the volume of the neck pickup just, just like a little bit, little bit, you know, like maybe just like by one notch and then I'm going to bring down the tone a little bit as well. So I end up with a nice warm tone. Maybe I'll bring down the volume a bit more. Cool. But the bridge, I want it to be more of a gnarly thing, like. So I'm going to leave it there. So now, while I'm playing. So yeah, it can be pretty versatile. Now, let's see what this sounds like. Like this guitar sounds like with some more overdrive. I'm gonna bring in the boost and you can clearly see that it's not just some a low boost. You can really get a lot of saturation out of it. So, so right now the gain knob is at around 12 o'clock and the boost is at three. Okay, as in like three, like the the knob is at number three, not like three o'clock. Um, and the volume, I'm in one watt mode. Oh, which is something I forgot to mention. So you have two inputs, you have a one watt input and you have a 15 watt input. So I'm in the one watt input and my volume is around two. So yeah, I have a mic in front of it. Of course, I live in an apartment, I cannot be super loud. But here's what that sounds like. <laughs> Middle pick up. It's really fun playing that. So now the boost is at 12 o'clock. Back to the bridge pickup. Middle. Finally, the neck. <laughs> and let's get some more gain. So I'm going to bring the gain knob to uh, like about three o'clock now. I don't know if you can hear a bit of noise coming. That's normal because that's quite a bit of gain. So back to the bridge pickup. <laughs> Middle pick up. Now, 
gainful. That was the bridge pickup. Now the middle pickup. And finally the neck. As you can see, like it's quite a beast of a setup, just like these two. Now the reverb and the compression that you're hearing is in the effects loop and it's it's got a pretty clean effects loop as you can see. Here are some of the things that I have felt after using these two for a little while. I have been gigging with them, I've been teaching with them and I've just been playing at home with them. Looping stuff, making ambient music, playing some rock and roll, playing jazz. and I think this setup that you see is like so versatile, you know, it's just so versatile. You have an amp which is not super heavy, so you're not gonna end up breaking your back. You know, you have a guitar which is again not super heavy. So even if you're playing longer gigs, it's not gonna break your back, right? And then comes the quality of the instruments. This amp is built like a tank. Man, like when you pick it up, the moment you touch that handle and you pick it up, you know that you are literally picking up a solid amplifier. The speakers sound great, the knobs feel great, the light looks good, the amp looks good. I honestly really like the way this amp looks, just look at it, you know. And these guitars, FGN guitars, so this is uh, one of three FGN guitars that I've received. I have already made a review about um, the a T style guitar that they had sent me with Seymour Duncan's. This one does not have Seymour Duncan's. This has their own pickups. And I intentionally wanted to mention that later on in the video, just so that you can hear how good they actually sound. These are really good sounding pickups, right? So yeah, fret work, excellent. And to be honest, it has to be excellent because all of these FGN guitars are made in Japan in a legendary factory by Fujijin Guitars. That is the name of the factory. And the thing is, this factory is known for building some of the most iconic guitars and some of the highest quality of guitars in the world. They have built guitars for all of the biggest brands probably <laughs> at this point. And some of the biggest names also get their guitars built from them. 
So you can imagine that when they are building a guitar and they are sending that to you, you are getting a top-notch instrument. And I can't I can't emphasize on how good these instruments are, especially considering the price, because at this price point, you do not get this level of craftsmanship at all. The attention to detail, all of the hardware being used, the quality of craftsmanship, the looks everything it's just great and all of these guitars come with a gig bag i encourage all of you to really check out fgn guitars as well as laney amplification the cub series laney also has a lot of great amps on their arsenal you you have the iron heart series you also have the lion heart series and then if you're more into a budget thing you got some good budget amps as well both these brands i have really really enjoyed playing my gigs and i have not had any issues the tones cut through great the tone sounds great in general and i hardly have to do anything to sound great on this instrument so yeah definitely try these out if you like this video please consider subscribing to my channel and also please share the video with anyone and everyone you like maybe like the video as well a thumbs up would be nice um if there's something else you would like to know about it please comment below if you would like to take private lessons with me, my details are in the description box as well. So please get in touch with me and I'll give you all of the necessary details regarding that. And um, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.